60% of all ENFPs identify as ENFPT, turbulent types. When you're a turbulent type, your neuroticism is higher, you worry more, you second guess yourself, you find it hard to make decisions, you find yourself going back and forth, reflecting on past situations and past scenarios, you second guess what you did and what you could have done that better. As an ENFPT, your energy is also less consistent. You might get very enthusiastic about something, but the next day you might get down about it. Oh, it's not going to work out and it's not going to happen and it's not possible. When you're an ENFP A, you have more consistent energy and enthusiasm. You feel more confident in yourself. You trust in yourself and who you are. You feel better about what you can do. So, are you an ENFP A explorer or an ENFP T what if -er? Find out that and more in today's video. So first off, let's ask ourselves a question. Is it possible to become more assertive or is neuroticism in your blood unchangeable as the rest of your personality? Now, if you're new to this channel, my content is devoted to making people feel flow. What I do is I promote personality psychology that drives personal growth and happiness. Most confident of us can have days where we feel low or where we lack energy or where we uh, struggle with ourselves or where we feel bad about something. That happens even to the best of us. However, the ENFPA is a person that overall consistently has more good days than bad days. An ENFPA is a person that overall trusts themselves and their own decision making process. You're an ENFPA if you find yourself more often chasing and exploring new opportunities than you shoot down and criticize yourself or uh, keep yourself from taking action. You're an ENFPA if you are more confident in expressing yourself to other people and you're an ENFPT if you find yourself covering up who you are or hiding from other people or struggling to make relationships work because you don't think you're accepted or that you're good enough or that you fit in. You're an ENFPA if you're able to talk about and express your ideas to other people in an open and playful way. You're an ENFPT if you shoot down and feel bad about and hold your ideas to yourself because you don't want other people to think you're stupid or crazy. Like I said in the beginning of this video, more than 60% of all ENFPs tend to doubt themselves. And that's not strange. Actually, when you look at the data, I've found that all intuitives are more likely to doubt themselves. Most intuitives are at least starting out a bit uncertain of themselves, a bit unsure, a bit testing the waters. And we could say that ENFPT, whatever, is testing the waters. That's what you're doing. When you're in this state or when you are feeling more neurotic or when you are experiencing more mood swings, you're in a state where you are kind of testing the waters. You're te processing. Intuitives are more likely to experience doubt than censors because of how our society is built. Our society is one that values strength, power, discipline, rigidity, uh, certainty, knowledge, security, um, a clear job, a clear job description, a clear consistent role, a routine, a community where you are tight-knit, bonded together with other people, people you can always count on, people that will always be there, people that you always have your back. As an intuitive, a lot of things are up in there, especially in the beginning of your life. You're playing with new ideas. You're not really sure what career to get. You're thinking about different possibilities. You're entertaining new business ideas. You're thinking about new projects. You're uh, curious about new ideas or learning about new things that nobody else knew about before. But to do and explore these things, you need guts. You need bravery. You need boldness. So as an ENFP, the first thing you really need to do is just develop the guts and the boldness and the base bravery necessary to be yourself fully. What is it ENFP A's do to pursue and act with such boldness and bravery and courage? The first thing I notice with ENFP A types is they spend less time thinking about the past. ENFPTs are more likely to be in the grip of introverted sensing. And introverted sensing is the inferior function of all ENFPs. As an ENFP, extroverted intuition is your 
primary en engine. It's what drives you forward. It's what you are most dominant, most confident in. What's the, your bread and butter? It's your uh, biggest strength. So that's what you want to hold up to the world as your key strength and who you are. When you are an extroverted intuition, you are enthusiastic, you are courageous, you are bold, and you're finding new opportunities, and you're learning new things, and you are uh, putting yourself in new situations, you're getting to know new people. That's what extroverted intuition is at best. When you're in the grip of introverted sensing, you find yourself going back and forth, analyzing yourself and past decisions. You analyze who you are, you, you second guess your role and identity, you're focused on what is it I am supposed to do? What do my parents expect from me? What does society want from me? And how do I fit in? And how do I make myself a part of this? As an ENFP, it's easy to feel like you're kind of the black sheep of the world. You know, you don't really fit in anywhere. You're a person that's always gone in different directions than most people. You see new places, you see new ideas, you see new possibilities. And when you are pursuing those things, you cut yourself off from what is. You cut yourself off from the establishment. When you get into introverted sensing, you can hyper-focus on that feeling that I'm an outsider, I don't fit in. I'm not like, uh, I'm not the puzzle piece that is needed for this puzzle. I'm not a part of the society or the community or the uh, traditions that are working and going on around me. I don't feel connected to all of these things because I'm so focused on what's ahead of me. Ideally, and what I see with ENFP A types is they are able to make peace with and accept that. They are able to accept that, yeah, okay, I don't fit in, or, okay, I'm not a part of the old makeup or the uh, existing system or the standard uh, makeshift things that people are doing today. I don't uh, necessarily uh, enjoy the traditions that people do and I feel like I am somewhere else or I am someone different. And I'm okay with that and that's fine. Knowing that and admitting to yourself that I'm okay with not fitting in and I'm okay with being who I am. That is the first thing you need to really be able to move forward without worry. Now, for most people, that's going to be a gradual process. That means you're going to go through times when you second guess yourself and you go, uh, maybe I am not good enough, or maybe I don't fit in, or maybe I don't, I'm not going to connect, or maybe I'm never going to meet anybody like me, maybe I'm never going to, uh, you know, uh, make something out of myself, maybe I'm never going to make my parents proud, you know, because I'm always uh, going through all these situations. Uh, but as you move forward, you're going to find that that matters less and less, and those things are not important. Your ethos, your character, your traditional, uh, your traditions around you, those things don't matter to your ability to connect to other people. You can connect to other people not because you are the same as they are or because you go along with and live in the same routine that they do. You can get along with people just because you are who you are and because you are comfortable and confident in that. The ENFP personality type and especially the ENFP A personality type is a true individualist. That means you're a person that has strong ideas about who you are. You have a strong idea or sense of purpose and value and things you care about and things that are important to you. You know and trust and feel strongly connected to yourself and your own needs and what you want. As an ENFP A, those things are good things. You know, who you are is something positive. Who you, uh, what you value is something important. What you care about is something that matters. As an ENFPT, who you are is something stupid. Oh, I'm this crazy person that oh, just uh, goes and does these stupid projects that never lead anywhere. And I'm always late and I'm never uh, like part of the things that everyone else is doing. And I'm always, I'm never good enough, you know. Uh, so you're, you can, uh, you need to work towards just finding that security in who you are and that comfort and trust in yeah, this is who I am, and that's a good thing, and I'm proud of who I am, and I'm proud of uh, my identity, and I'm proud of uh, the things that make me different and the things that make me unique. Finally, what ENFP A's do different than ENFP T's is they don't get so caught up in what-ifs. It's easy to get stuck uh, juggling these what-ifs of, uh, okay, uh, should I have done this or should I do that? Or uh, what if I choose this scenario or what if I go into this, this situation? 
An ENFP A can sometimes entertain what ifs and sometimes go through hypothetical scenarios, but never indefinitely. They always make a decision based on what is best in the moment. That means in the end, look through and run through scenarios, think about possibilities, think about what could happen, think about what's next, but focus on practical possibilities that you can reach today. You know, every day focus on goals that you can reach today. What changes can you make happen in this moment or this day? What possibilities could you explore this week? What changes could you make happen that month? Focus on realistic possibilities or semi-realistic possibilities. Challenge yourself to go out and try things that you can do tomorrow. Don't get caught up on things that you should do in the future or long term or things that could happen somewhere or things that uh, will never happen or things that you know will never happen. As an ENFPA, you know how to use extroverted thinking to measure, okay, that's going to work and that's not going to work. That's going to happen and that's not going to happen. Tip number three is find your own inner child. What I see with ENFP A types is they have a much better relationship to their inner child. When you have a better or a good relationship to your inner child, you are allowed to have fun and to enjoy life. You know, because a lot of people, they move through life without even enjoying what they're doing. That means uh, you're exploring possibilities and opportunities and you are uh, expressing yourself, but you are so serious while you do it. You're so uh, focused on doing it right and uh, doing it better than everyone else and uh, getting into society and uh, trying to prove yourself to society. But as an ENFP, playfulness is found in being able to free yourself from that, you know, free yourself from all expectations on you or how much you need to perform or how much you need to earn or how successful you need to be. Freeing yourself from those possibilities and just enjoying yourself, allowing yourself to be okay with what you have and who you are in your current situation is the first step to being able to have true fun. So eventually what you're looking for is the ability to just enjoy the moment or just enjoy who you are and just uh, enjoy all those things about yourself without worry about how you come across or how uh, valuable you are to the system or how productive you have been or how accomplished you have been. Because ultimately those things are not going to make you happy. You know? The work that you do should only ever be a tool to give you the room to be yourself. Work is okay and a must and a necessity, but for an ENFP, work should always be there to support your ability to play and as to play as hard as possible. That means your ideal career is often a career that gives you freedom to be yourself and gives you the money and financial capital so that you can have fun and enjoy life to the fullest. Finally, what is an ENFPT? How do you become an ENFPT to begin with? What I've found is that turbulence, neuroticism can be partially inherited from your parents and from past experiences and from things uh, that didn't go the way you planned, you know. It's natural to struggle and to doubt yourself or to uh, feel bad if you've been through something difficult, if you've had traumatic experiences or if your parents have had traumatic experiences or if you've had an upbringing that was less than ideal. It's natural to get stuck in this kind of melancholy where you're just like reflecting on things that you lost, things you could have had, things you could have experienced. And the ENFPT at their worst is a person that is really stuck in this melancholy. And if you ever feel like, oh, I'm just stuck in this uh, constantly uh, dreaming about and reflecting on, you know, past experiences that didn't pan out the way I wanted them to, or reflecting on the far future, far away, and the things that I wish would happen to me that never will happen to me. The inner PT can so easily get into this route where they're constantly going over and daydreaming about these things. And you have to hit the point where you recognize, okay, is this healthy for me or not? Is this uh, making me a happier person? Thinking about these things, are these things making me feel better about myself? Are they making me feel happier about who I am? Ultimately, we have to take care of ourselves. That means you have to make decisions that will make yourself happy. When you wake up in the morning, your first thought shouldn't be, how do I please my employer or parents? Your first thought should be, 
How do I please and make myself happy? What can I do? What thought patterns work for me? What experiences uh, bring me joy? What uh, decisions make me happy? And what things make me curious? And every day you should try to set as much time as possible aside for these things. These things should be your first priority, not what everyone else expects from you, but what you expect from yourself. So, are you an ENFP A or an ENFP T? Leave your comment down below and, of course, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this.